Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of Thor Issue 5. And this is an epic one. I, I've i been waiting for this one, and I'm like, alright, let's see how this goes. And it did not disappoint, because the ending, one, was a pretty big shocker. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be an interesting little thing. And there's other things that have been seated throughout this issue that show that uh, even though we do have issues with Mjolnir, there's more to it than just the usual unworthiness kind of angle. So we start off and we see that Sif and the rest are kind of ruminating on what's going on. We see Sif being on the Bifrost. We see Loki at his place. We see uh, Beta Ray Bill is underneath the Dying World Tree offering a prayer and everything. And then he, of course, tries to go see what's going on with Sif, and she's got her eyes closed, and he's like, hey, kind of, what's going on? And she can't get in contact with Thor, and he refuses calls to the Bifrost, and she can't see where he's at. It's not working. <laughs> and of course, they're ruminating on what's going on with Thor, and how unruly he's been as a prince, and they're like, we really didn't think a crown was going to change him, and that... Mm, Beta Ray Bill is like, I think anybody who wants to be a king should be barred from it, regardless. And I'm like, yes, I agree with you on that. And that they kind of have to see what he's, he thinks he's going to, Thor's going to rise to the challenge and become that because he has to. She, of course, also asks him what he was kind of like praying for under the tree, forgiveness, but for like no one in particular or whatnot. Because uh, Thor really freaking humbled him and broke Stormbreaker and that was a big kind of battle there and of course Volstagg's trying to deal with everybody kind of like going nuts at Asgard and he's like uh, do you want to join us Sif and she's like well I'll do it when uh, uh, Thor comes home and of course showing the fate that they have in him uh, so we then shift to the battle between Thor uh, Galactus and the Black Winter and we see that the, oh, this fucking art just works to the epic scale of what's going on because you see Thor with his like first with the blindfold that he's got on wielding the lightning like a badass we see uh, Galactus fucking glowing like a red beast and then we see that the Black Winter starts doing its stuff uh, he of course is trying to get into Thor's head and everything he's like ah I can show you the end and everything and uh, like, what does he think that the end is going to be like? And then suddenly it claims him and Galactus, and then we get pretty much inside Thor's head. And he starts talking, and he's like, yeah, you've seen a lot of kind of... Uh, he's like, I'm not afraid of you. And, of course, he's like, good. Uh, trying to figure out if he knows the truth or whatnot. And then we see Gore's there. And then we see Loki's there. He's like, what the hell? He's like, yeah, you've had many endings, haven't you, uh, God of Thunder? Uh, you've been unmade, atomized, crucified, all this kind of stuff. Is like, and still you come back and everything. It's really kind of weird. And uh, we then see all of these villains arrayed against him. It's like, holy shit! And he starts bringing, yeah. Don't you know something's been feeling off? Because you're one end, where you bring light into a world of darkness as you fight uh, the. Uh, he's at first when Thor was about to be taken over calling him the uh, all butcher and everything the end guy's like I've never been called these things I'm like huh interesting and then of course the Black Winter is ruminating on the fact that something is going through and changing your destiny destroying it and everything and Thor starts thinking yes something has felt off when he's gotten to the throne because we see that Jason Aaron's thing with him being uh, having one arm one eye fighting at the end times with his brother by his side so, but something's going through and changing slithering and changing his fate i wonder if that slithering is uh referring to anything like uh the serpent god cole borson potentially or whatnot or some kind of strange other kind of snake like thing now granted cole had been taken out during the war realms but there could be a new god or whatnot that has taken on the fear aspect or whatnot or another kind of thing entirely but I think that the slithering thing is kind of like a clue that we'll have to see that pops up or whatnot. But something is going on and changing fate for Thor. And that is definitely linked to what's going on with Mjolnir. I'm glad that it's not as cut and dry kind of worthiness thing. Something is messing with it. 
And of course, after hearing this and seeing everything going on and understanding this, he asked me on there to help him one last time do like a blast. And we see that it's a god blast to kind of blast back the Black Winter. I said, holy shit. And he's like, yeah, even if he calls on the owner to help him do it one last time. And he's like, even if he can't defeat the Black Winter, he wants it to remember that he at least made it bleed. I'm like, that's fucking badass. That is just a, mm, that is a powerful line. It's like, shit, it fits with Thor, but like, it's simple, but it's something that really works well. And then we see, he's like, hey, Galactus, you still with me? And he's like, yes. And then we see, all right, show us your true form. It's like, all right, I'll take the form of the end. And he's like, he takes the form of Thor. And he's like, uh, Galactus, is this what you saw? He's like, yes. And he's like, oh, don't be like that, Galactus. Tell him the truth. Because uh, that's not what you saw the first time. And he's like, what, what are you talking about? Galactus is telling Thor, don't listen to his lies and all that kind of stuff. He's like, oh, we'll see. Uh, because he's like, I don't, you're not going to get my world. He's like, oh, your world? There's darker fates for your world and stuff like that. I'm here for him. And he's like, oh, you don't know exactly what happened with the death of his universe, did you? Did you? He's like, no, I'm here for him, my former Herald. And it's like, he was interested in, like, the God Herald, but he's like, no, I'm here for my former Herald and everything. It's like, what the fuck, Galactus? was this being herald so this thing is like a galactus like force what the hell is going on what is the black winter it's like holy fuck because we had thought of it as the end thing to probably like a universal scale that's what it could be probably brought into effect that like galactus is on how to explain it on a even though it's like gigantic compared to us on earth on the micro level with the universe galactus is working like the black winter does on the macro level for the rest of the universes so maybe the black winter had employed him as a herald and during the death of that universe maybe stole the, some of the black winter's power to become the galactus kind of force that we see here in our universe and this pisses him off so we'll have to see how that works out it's like holy shit i was like i was not expecting that and i'm like i'm really intrigued to see where this is gonna go and what thor's gonna do is he gonna fucking go hambo jambo is he gonna team up with the black winter to take on galactus or whatnot even though he's helped galactus power up and everything because that would work with uh what's going on he probably shunned the cosmic power and be pissed off and because he had to have all of those people give up their homes to what he believed was saving the universe from this terrible, horrible threat. And if that was a lie to Thor Odinson, king of Asgard, that will be met with thunder and lightning and hammers. So I can't wait to see kind of what goes on with that. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.